Hello students, welcome back to another online class with your ma'am Mariani. Today also we will be learning about general knowledge which is for grade 2 and the chapter number is 16, alright? And the topic is about save the earth planet. Now this topic is very important for you all to learn. This topic is also very important for grown-up like us to learn. Why? Because we're going to learn about protecting our earth. Where are we living? We are living on the earth. So it is our responsibility to protect and look after the earth, right? Let me just give you a small example. For example, we all stay at home and we all have a shelter, right? When we are staying at our home, we used to make sure that we clean our room. For example, I have a room. I used to make sure that my room is not dirty, right? So likewise, likewise, our earth is our home. So we have to take care of our earth, all right? So it is about earth planet. So just for your understanding, I'm going to tell you some of the names of the planet. I am sure you all know this, but there are eight planets in the world. There are eight planets, okay? And the name of the planet is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. All right. So today we're going to learn about the Earth. So like this is how the Earth looks like. And to it must surprise this is where we are staying. This is where we are living. We all are living here right now. Yeah. Okay. So our Earth is our home, sweet home. It's our home, sweet home. And we get food from the earth, we get fresh air from the earth, and we get water from the earth. All right? Now, we need healthy food to live a healthy living. We need a fresh air for healthy breathing. We need fresh water to drink for the sake of our health. Right? Okay, so now, so now what is to be done? What is to be done? How can we achieve all this? Fresh food, fresh air, fresh water. Simply by keeping our earth safe. By keeping our earth safe. So the topic for today and the theme for the day is about save the planet earth. All right. Okay. Now. Let me tell you what will happen. What will happen if we do not take care of our earth? There are certain, you know, terrible and terrifying consequences if we do not save the earth. Some of them are this. Look at this picture. These two uh, people, you know, these two individuals, they are facing difficulty in breathing. This is what is called air pollution. This will happen. This is what will happen if we do not take care of our Mother Earth. And this is again what will happen. This is called plastic pollution. Can you imagine the Earth with full of plastic? This is what is going to happen, my dear students. We have to be very careful. Another terrible thing that is going to happen is our Earth is going to get burned. Now, when I say our, our Earth is going to get burned, it is related to global warming. What is global warming? Increase in the temperature of the Earth. Now, increasing the temperature of the Earth, what will happen? See, we will not be able to bear the heat. Look at this little boy. He is so exhausted, you know, because of the heat, the heat of the sun. So this is what is going to happen if we do not look after our Mother Earth. Another terrifying thing is, see, the waste that we throw in the, in the ocean. This is, what is it? And if this continues, then our water is going to turn into this color and the water that we're drinking right now will not be available to us. And do you think you are, you are going to stay without water? Do you think you will be able to stay without drinking water? I don't think so. So these are some of the most terrifying things that is ever going to happen to Earth if we do not look after it. All right? So now what is to be done? 
you are responsible for it, I am responsible for it, for taking care of the Mother Earth, right? So before explaining those very simple and easy steps that we all can follow, let me show you a picture. As you can see, there are two pictures on the screen. Here, the animals, you can see green trees, beautiful animals, and the clean water, right? Another picture says about no trees. There are no trees. You don't see any animals. You don't see any green leaves. So now my question to you all is, which picture you're going to pick? What is your decision? Are you going to go for the first picture? Or are you going to go for the second picture? Without any doubt, you all are going to tell me that, oh ma'am, I'm going to go for the first picture. Why? Because the first picture is more livelier as compared to the second. And I personally is also going to go for the first picture, right? Okay, so now if we want more of this, more of this and less of this, then there are certain things that we have to follow. So what are those? Let me tell you what are those. Before that, let me tell you all that people in general, that is you and I, are connected with the nature. We are connected with the nature, okay? People are closely linked with the nature. We the humans, we cannot live without nature. All right, so let us learn about the 10 easy steps that you and I can follow in order to protect, care, love, and shelter our environment. So just 10 easy steps. Now, these 10 easy steps are very easy. These steps you can follow very easily at home. I can follow very easily at home, right? So let us follow these 10 easy steps to protect our environment. Now here, the first point is save energy. Now when I say energy, this is related to current. All right. So save energy. How can you save energy? By doing small things. Let me tell my dear students, by doing small things like here, keeping the light bulb off in your room when you are not using it. So when you are not in your room and when you are planning to go outside, please make sure that you're keeping the uh, switch of the light off. Another thing is switch off the fan when you are not using it. Another is do not overcharge your phone. Once your phone is charged with 100%, plug it out. Plug out the charger. That is how you're going to save energy. So that is point number one, save energy. All right. Now let's look into the point number two. Use reusable items. Now when I say reusable items, these are those products or things that can be used again. So those are the things that you have to use. All right. For example, use a paper bag. You know, use a cotton cloth bag. And also, do not use a plastic bag. Remember the first picture that I showed you? If the world is full of plastic, it's going to be terrible. All right. So use this cotton cloth bag and the paper bag instead of this plastic bag. One tip that I can give you all is when you're going for a shopping with your mother, remind your mother to carry a bag, maybe a basket bag. You know, and then you can go and buy the vegetables and put the vegetables in the basket and come back home. And that is how you will not need a plastic bag. Yeah. All right. So that is number two. Now, number three is very important. Do not waste water. Water is very essential. You should not waste water. I should not waste water. How to do that? Please make sure to turn off the tap when you are not using it. Make sure to harvest rainwater. When it is rain raining, make sure that you are storing the rainwater. And when you are done storing the rainwater, you're going to use it. And rainwater is very good for our health as well. It is good for your hair, it is good for your skin, right? So do not waste water. That is the third point that I would like to uh, tell you all to follow. 
Okay, the fourth easy step is follow the three R's. Now you must be wondering, oh, what is this three R's, right? So this three R's is nothing but reuse, you know, reduce, reduce. You can so see this arrow mark pointing downwards. Reduce, reuse, recycle. This is the three R's that you have to follow. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. All right. So now reduce, for example, reduce. Reduce, you know, uh, using of car and go for walk, for example. Another example of, you know, re uh, reduce, reuse is about the, f the example which I told you just a few minutes back. Instead of using the plastic bag, use a paper bag or a cotton cloth bag. And that is how you're going to recycle it again, right? So the third point that goes to the third point that is recycle. For example, Newspaper. You get newspaper every day at home. Your father is done reading the newspaper. Do not throw away the newspaper. Make use of it. You can make use of the newspaper in making a paper bag. Okay, so three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. All right. The fifth point that you have to follow is uh, have a shower instead of a bath. You know, have a shower instead of a bath. For example, see, there is a this belief that when we take a shower, uh, you know, it saves water. So instead of taking bath, it's better to take a shower. This is how a shower looks like. Number six, make sure to turn off the water tap while brushing your teeth. Look at this picture. This little girl has kept the water tap off when she is brushing the teeth. So turn off the water tap when you are brushing your teeth. All right. Number seven. Then the seventh easy step is reuse paper. Or we, we can also say use paper wisely. Look at this. This is a notebook with a pen. Let me give you an example. For example, you use your notebook, right? So your notebook contains maybe at least 17 pages, maybe at least 10 pages. So you have to make use of all those pages. Please make sure that you're not scribbling it on the paper. Make sure that you are writing in both the sides of the paper. And do not just waste the paper just like that. Okay, write down whatever is needed, whatever is necessary, and whatever is important. And please do not scribble on your notebook. And that is how you're using your notebook wisely. And that is how this very little, you know, action of yours is going to help protect the environment. Don't you think that's a superhero act? All right. Okay, now number eight is about do not litter, muila no koribi, right? You should not litter. As I've already mentioned to you all, eating a bucket of chips and throwing it in the dust, uh, instead of throwing it in the dustbin, if you're just throwing it randomly, that's a very bad habit. If you're eating a chocolate and if you're just, show, you know, throwing the wrapper of the chocolate, just here and there, then that's a very bad habit. And that is how you are going to harm the environment. So do not litter. Okay. Number nine, pick up your waste and throw it in the dustbin. This is how it should be done. This little boy, see, he is not only picking up the trash or the waste of his, but he is also picking up the trash, which is already done by somebody else. Such a a motivating, inspirational example, right? And look at him. He's throwing it in the dustbin, right? So pick up your waste and throw it in the book dustbin, okay? Okay, now the last 10 easy step that you and I can follow in our everyday to day life is about treasure, which means try to, uh, what do you say, Hold it to your heart, close to your heart. Treasure and look after animals. Treasure and look after flowers. Treasure and look after the, you know, healthy, lively trees. Okay, so those are the 10 easy steps. Now, let me tell you, want the rebel action of a human being which is very severe and which is very dangerous for the earth. And that is this. Okay? And this is what is called deforestation. Now, deforestation is 
cutting down of trees. Deforestation is cutting down of trees. Now, deforestation is very, very, very bad for health and for the environment. So what you can do is when you are cutting down one tree, when you are cutting down one tree, make sure to plant 10 or more trees. If you at all, if the people in general at all, they have to cut trees, make sure that they are planting 10 or more trees. One tree is gone, plant 10 or more trees. All right. Okay. Now here, instead of using a car to reach school, use a bicycle. And that is how you are going to save the Mother Earth. All right. Another thing, instead of using a plastic water bottle or maybe a plastic water bottle, use a water bottle which is very much healthy for your health. And it, it also saves your money. For example, see, you go out, you are very thirsty. You buy the 10 rupees mineral water and you drink it. After drinking the 10 mineral water bottle, you're going to throw that water bottle. And the water bottle is made of plastic. So it is going to contribute to plastic pollution. But if you're using a water bottle, you're going to keep it with you. Wherever you go, you're going to fill the water in that water bottle and going to use it. So which is better? Of course, the water bottle. So use water bottle instead of plastic bottles. Now here is the classwork, which we have to do it together. All right. So the classwork is which of the following will not break down quickly, which means it will not get decomposed easily. First up is banana, cover of a banana, cabbage or water bottle or the plastic bottle. This is not water bottle. This is a plastic bottle. So of course, it is going to be the plastic bottle. All right. OK, another classwork. You need to cross out the pollution causing activities and tick the earth saving activities. You can see three pictures on the screen. So you have to take that particular activity which is protecting the earth and you have to put a cross mark to that particular picture which is harming the environment. All right. So of course, this is going to be a tick mark. The reason is because planting trees and it's going to be healthy for the earth. This is going to be a tick mark because this two little kids are watering the plants. This is definitely going to be a cross mark because this man is throwing the trash in the river, which is very, very, very bad. All right. OK. All right. Another classwork is C. As I've, I've, it's already done for you all. A man cutting the tree, cross mark. Car polluting the environment, cross mark. This little git, you know, throwing the trash, picking up the trash and throwing the trash in the dustbin. A very good work. And that is going to be a tick mark. All right. So now you want to be this person. You want to be in one of this person or you want to be this little git who are contributing to the healthy living of the of the earth. The choice is completely yours. All right. OK, so now I have a homework for you all. And this homework is going to be very interesting. And the homework is very simple and you can do it this at home. Take a flower pot, put a manure in the flower pot, which is called mole, right? Put a manure in the flower pot and plant any one of the following. It can be a your favorite fruit. It can be your favorite vegetable. It can be a sapling. You know what is a sapling? The young, you know, a, a young tree is called a sapling. So any of the following, you can plant any of the following. All right, take a, take a flower pot and plant it. Clear? Okay, so this is it for today. A big thank you to you all for listening to me so carefully and so nicely. And please make sure to follow the 10 easy steps because those are very easy to follow. And those little, you know, uh, little steps that we follow is going to contribute to the healthy living of the earth. So let us make the change from today onwards. You and I, let us inculcate those habits in our life and bring a good change in the world. Can we do that? Okay, so thank you students. Bye-bye everyone. Please take care of yourself until I meet, I see you again in the next video. Bye.